All right. Uh, new segment today. A lot of questions. We, we get a lot of calls for the tankless electric water heater. There's two that are the most popular. Tankless electric water heaters come anywhere from uh, 4 kilowatts, which is 120 volts, all the way up to 36 kilowatts, which would be for like a commercial application. Uh, the most popular ones we sell are the 13 kilowatt, which would be for a home. Now, this is a home that we're talking about in South Florida. You know, nice incoming water temperature has got to be at worst case scenario 70 degrees. And this 13 kilowatt will keep up with two bathrooms, any two faucets at a time. So it's for a two bathroom house. Then you got the 18 kilowatt, which is our next best seller, which will keep up with three bathrooms or any three faucets at a time. It's said to be for a three bed, a three bathroom house. Again, this is with 70 degree incoming water temperature. If you are in Michigan, this won't work for you. I mean, maybe it'll work in the summer, but that's about best case scenario. You've got to have bare minimum 70 degree incoming water temperature. What is one of the benefits of this green tankless electric water heater? Well, one of the beauties is, uh, if you guys ever look, a lot of people always call for the Titan, the Titan water heater. Everybody wants a Titan because Titan, at one point, was the best there was on the market. They were the first ones to come out with it and they were the best ones, uh, the first ones to come out with it in Florida. And they were the best ones on the market, by far. As time went on, time didn't keep up with the times, I guess you could say, and they started falling behind the times. With the water heaters nowadays, the Titan, if you ever look, everybody says, oh, but the Titan has half inch openings, same as the ring, half inch in, half, in, half inch in, half inch out. Blue is cold, red is hot. So they're half inch. But if you ever look at the Titan water heater, the Titan water heater on the hot water side is reduced to about an eighth of an inch open. That doesn't really work very well when you're trying to, uh, to get water pressure. Whereas the ring never gets reduced. It's half inch all the time. So you got great water pressure. Another benefit to the ring water heater the ring water heater goes to 140 degrees. So when you have a long run, from one side, the water heater's in, one, in the garage and your master bedroom is all around the other side of the house, well, 120 degrees, if it starts at 120, it might not get to your bathroom at 120. You might be using all hot and no cold in your mixture when you're taking a shower. With the ring, that doesn't work. That won't happen because you have 140 volt, 140 degree temperature coming out of it. So even if you lose some hot water, by the time it gets to your shower, you haven't really noticed very much. You still have plenty of hot water, you still gotta use some cold in the mix. Now, if you have a big a big house, a three bedroom, uh, three bathroom house, uh, or you wanna be able to use three faucets at a time, a, a, you know, two showers and a washing machine, you wash a lot of clothes, I don't know, you wash a lot of dishes, whatever the case may be, then you need to go to, to this one. This 13 kilowatt, the beauty of it is, all you need is a 60, one 60 amp breaker. So you can take your 20 amp breaker that you have now on the water heater, because most water heaters have a 20 amp breaker, maybe 30, but most are 20, and you change it to a number six wire and a 60 amp breaker, and it'll run this heater perfectly. No problems whatsoever. The only problem you have is you gotta change the wiring, very important, change the wiring from a number, whatever it is you have now, 12, to a six. One of the problems you run into with this heater, in an apartment building, okay, most apartment buildings, what they have is 150 amp service. Well, if your water heater, if your AC uses 50, and I take 60 for your water heater, I'm leaving you 40 for the whole rest of your apartment. That's not enough. It won't work. The other downside in an, apart in an apartment is most of the time people say, well, yeah, my water heater's on, in the closet and right across the hall, is, is the breaker box. Piece of cake, simple installation. Yeah, except for one problem. Number six wire, as opposed to number 12 wire, is three times as fat. It will not fit through the conduit that you have running the wire now. So what happens? You have to break walls to get that in. We're not gonna break walls. That's something that you gotta have to get an electrician or you have to get somebody to do that if that is the case. The other thing is to look and see if you have a minimum 200 amp service. If you don't have 200 amp service, this isn't gonna work for you. It you won't have enough power. Now, the next step is we go to the 18 kilowatt. The 18 kilowatt is more for a bigger house, 
uh, as you can see this one instead of being the 13 connects on the side the 18 all the connections are on the bottom okay the 18 is three-quarter inch connections because you need more water pressure to be able to run this okay? but it is still not reduced it still goes to 140 degrees now this heater requires two separate 40 amp breakers so the only downside to this 18 kilowatt is in order for it to be used you have to not only change the original breaker from a 20 to a 40 and a number eight wire you have to add a second breaker in your breaker box and give it another 40 amps of service will will both or better yet all three elements turn on at the same time no they will not unless you need the 80 the, the full water the full water pressure that it can produce but if you only turn on one shower well guess what only one element's going to turn on uh, you're not going to use all uh, 480 amps of service in one shot so don't worry it's not going to kill your electric bill it'll only use what you need now one of the problems we run in we see you have is for those of you that have teenagers when the teenager realizes they're not going to run out of hot water that 10 minute shower becomes a 20 25 minute shower well guess what in those extra 15 minutes you're using three times the power you were using before i can't help you there i can help you with space I can help you with something better, but I can't help you with your teenagers. Now pricing on these units. The Artex 13 is 250 plus tax. The Artex 18 is 395 plus tax. These are the most popular ones, so those are the ones I'm giving you prices on. Like I said, we have all the way from four to 36. If you look at our website, all the prices are on our website. Uh, you can also call in. We'd be more than happy to answer any questions for you on these units or any prices. We also have, uh, most of the time on the 13s, sometimes on the 18s, we have some reconditioned units. Some units that we have taken back for X, Y, or Z. The customer didn't like it. The customer wasn't satisfied. Whatever the case may be, we've checked the unit. We have our station to check it, which you've seen in other videos, how to check these water heaters. We check them, we make sure everything is working. If it's not, we recondition it to factory specifications. And we sell those at 195 plus tax. And they do come with a full warranty. We have some other units that are refurbished um, that are not, that we refurbish ourselves. They do not come with, with full warranty. They come with six months warranty. We sell those at 150 But if it's something short, if you're trying to, sell your house or you're trying to just get out and you know fix something short term uh that those those are the perfect units for you because they're very inexpensive we guarantee that they work for at least six months i mean they're going to work longer but we guarantee it with our we stand behind it ourselves for six months whereas these units and even the reconditioned ones for 195 green handles the warranty we just their warranty shop so again we are Reams warranty shop so any problems all you got to do is call us, we'll handle everything for you.